burning to avenge. There were only two replays released from the best of three that Grubby and Michael did, which is too bad because um, the first two were pretty good. Uh, well, one of them, Michael, really got his ass handed to himself, but whatever. So this is a different kind of strategy. I will include a second replay um, in this, which I will refer to every now and again. But, um, yeah, basically, the strategy stays the same. So we will go from Michael's point of view. I don't care about Fog of War. You might, though, so you can do whatever with it. Anyways, we'll unpause in 3, 2, 1, 46, 47, okay. So you know, this is the is all Just because generally what the orc is going to do is they're going to sell their circlets at the shop, and then they're either going to creep one of the ogre magis, or they're going to head over to the fountain. Um, or they're going to creep the ogre and then head over to the fountain, or they're just going to head straight to the fountain. It really depends on who you're playing. But generally, the orc is going to opt to creep, or rather than uh, creep jack on this map, just because with the blade master you can get a lot more done on secret valley on this map. So, yeah, that's my tip for you orc players. So he is going archmage first, so nothing really too different. Um, basically, what the early game is going to consist of is he's going to get his level three, um, obvi. Well, he's going to get his level 2 first, and then he's going to start harassing, and then he's going to buy time with his harassment to set up his expo. And then, with this expo, he'll just sort of milk it, and hope for the best. So, yeah, I almost speeded up the uh, replay there. That would have been bad to uh, get out of sync that early. Sorry, I just have this habit of watching replays at like 8x speed, and this is like super slow right now. Anyways, um... Built part of a scout tower near Fly's base. Basically, you can just use this for scouting. As you can see, um, y you can get a glimpse of most of his base. Scout towers have the uh, highest range, uh, sight range out of any building um, that orc has. Almost lost that creep to the peon. That would have been a bummer. But yeah, the uh, scout tower has more range, sight range than uh, than a farm does. So you're pretty much better off building part of a scout tower and then canceling it when they decide to touch it. Or not cancel it, that's cool. Um, he just lost it, by the way, to a grunt. I guess he was too busy trying to save his peasants, three of which are idle. That should be fixed. There we go. Way to go, big guy. Okay, so right now it's the general Archmage running from the Blade Master, and what he's doing right now is he's going to creep with the Water Elemental and his footies. Wait for it. There we go, he's gonna start. Just sort of picked up on it. But basically, you need two camps on this map to get a quick level two. Unless you want to head straight for the gold mine, which is pretty risky because if they catch you, you're gonna lose a lot of stuff. Plus, you probably won't get the Brilliance Aura if they jack one of the creeps. Um, so this is the safer way of doing it. Like, unless they jack, I don't know, uh, maybe the Ogre Warrior, then it won't be as bad for you. But, um, yeah, generally you just need to... Uh, oh, this is, this is, um, this is an interesting part. He picks up a Staff of Teleportation, because Fly already has the boots, and check out where he's staffing to. The footy closer to the other shop. So he's going to pick up the other boots of speed, which is, um... Good, uh, good staff usage by him, and the way he uses it is, is like super effective in this game. Um, Michael's not necessarily a very good micro player, but he is fairly smart with what he does. So, and his multitasking is actually pretty impressive. Like he doesn't even have a tower in his base yet. He does have it blocked off though, but I'm just pointing that out. Uh, doesn't get the kill off on the, on the footy, so he doesn't suicide it to creeps. Excuse me. And right now he's kind of um, running his Archmage through a bunch of grunts and creeps, but if you notice at the gold mine, he's actually going to start creeping it out. Um, which is pretty safe to do with Defend, just because the majority of the damage output is coming from the from the trolls. 
So you can basically attack move it. Uh, defend is pretty awesome. I don't know why a bunch of orc players or human players don't get it. Sorry, I said orc players because I was looking at the orc player's base, which he is currently harassing right now. As I said, um, creeping it is pretty mindless. I mean, he doesn't even lose a footy, and he didn't even micro that footy with the with defend and the five militia. So, you know, that's that's a little handy trick that you can pick up. Um, so yeah, right now he's actually doing some burrow harassment. What he's going to do is just try and force fly into a bad lumber situation, which he's been trying to do yeah, since the start of the game. Attack. Let's see how fly's doing. Oh, he's got 162. That's not bad. And basically what this does is it makes him decide between a bestiary and grunt upgrades uh, for his shizzle. Where are his grunts? I do not see them on this map. Whatever. They'll show up. Yeah, I just... My mini-map or whatever. Like, the colors on this computer are really bad. This is probably... Oh, there they are. So yeah, he hasn't even gotten the grunt upgrade yet. And he's setting up his bestiary. And basically, grunt upgrade is not huge, but it's 3 extra damage per grunt and an extra 100 HP. So, it is important, but it isn't... Um, like, a lot of people will stop making grunts at tier 2 and head for Koto Beasts or something more important. Um, yeah, it just depends on your playstyle. Some people will replace grunts, some people won't. Um, it depends on your breaker to caster ratio, generally. But um, I usually just switch to Koto Beasts. Replacing grunts with Koto Beasts. But he's going to continue up this harassment by defended footies facing a burrow. And he's actually got Fly in a pretty good situation since Fly is actually creeping right now. And all he can really do is whack on... Heh, <laughs> whack on. I'm sorry. Uh, just beat on a couple footies. And hopefully he'll run away in fear by the time that his Shadow Hunter gets there. And obviously he's going to use the staff again after continuing this harassment. Um, also, if some people... Like, some people will probably mindlessly just go, Oh, I'll get the Grump Zerker upgrade, since I just hit Tier 2, and I got my Tier 2 buildings up. Uh, then they'll probably be short on Lumber, if you do this kind of harassment for Ensnare. So, it just means you can continue your harassment for a little longer. But, Fly does have Ensnare, so... that w it, do it doesn't matter what I say about that right now. Uh, it's not applicable to this game, guys. Let's, let's leave it at that. So... Archmage hits level 3, pretty important level just because you get the water torn, as people will call it. Uh, yeah, they're pretty deadly. Uh, they have pretty huge damage output, and you really have to be careful where you run your Archmage, especially if you run it through, I don't know, a bunch of grunts. So, yeah, map awareness is pretty good to have. Uh, I mean, most maps are pretty basic. You can tell where you're gonna run, where you can run, where you can't run, and basically, using the map to your advantage is always good to learn how to do, and that just comes with practice. Like, you know, I can hit this creep camp at this level with like two footies, stuff like that, and like, where can I run if a blade master is chasing me to avoid the most likely scenario of it getting owned by a shadow hunter? So. You know, you can run it past people's bases, stuff like that, but, um, just knowing, like, simple little routes, like, going around the fountain and then going back around the trees and faking him and stuff like that, they're nifty little map moves that you can learn on every map, and basically, the best way to do that is to actually watch pro replays, and I am totally ignoring the fact that Michael is losing a bunch of peasants at his expo, and really... It didn't make much of a difference. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't. Because the Blade Master gets a few more EXP points. Uh, I don't think he lost... You know, he lost a grunt, never mind. But, um... Yeah, that was just basic expo defense. Uh, loses a raider at his base. That's a bummer. And... He's really short on lumber right now, but when you had the expo and you're, you know, your regular main, uh, it's pretty easy just to pump out a bunch of lumber... Peon, uh, peasants, peons, sorry, I'm watching peons get owned right now. Slash, hide in burrows. But he is continuing this harassment, which is good. Um, 
It just delays anything that Fly will do. Um, Orc isn't really a lumber intensive race, but if they don't have, you know, if they don't have enough burrows, which he doesn't right now because he's at 4140, um, and plus he can't get all the Spirit Walker upgrades and everything that you need, and you can't necessarily go tier 3 as early as you would like, which is generally what um, Orc players will do nowadays. Because, you know, you go for the expo, they're obviously going to go for the tech, uh, just because they can get the quick tech off, and a fast expo really kind of blows with orc, <coughs> depending on the map. So, basically what he decides to do is, uh, yeah, basically what you do is you delay the tier 3, which means no 